Intermediate Accounting, Chapter 1, The Canadian Financial Reporting Environment. The Canadian Financial Reporting Environment, one of two. After studying this chapter, you should be able to, one, understand the financial reporting environment, two, explain the need for accounting standards and identify the major entities that influence standard setting and financial reporting, three, explain the meaning of generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, and the significance of professional judgment in applying GAAP. Four, discuss some of the challenges and opportunities for accounting. The Canadian Financial Reporting Environment, two of two. The Canadian Financial Reporting Environment, financial statements and financial reporting. Bullet. Accounting and Capital Allocation, Bullet, Stakeholders, Bullet, Objective of Financial Reporting, Bullet, Information Asymmetry, Standard Setting, Bullet, Need for Standards, Bullet, Parties Involved in Standard Setting, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, Bullet, The Gap Hierarchy, Bullet, Professional Judgment, Challenges and Opportunities for the Accounting Principles, Bullet, Oversight in the Capital Marketplace, Bullet, Central, cent, Centrality of Ethics, Bullet, Standard Setting in a Political Environment, Bullet, Principles versus Rules, Bullet, Impact of Technology, Bullet, Integrated Reporting, Bullet, Conclusion. Characteristics of accounting. Accounting identifies, measures, and communicates financial information about economic entities to interested persons. Accounting has two broad classifications. One, financial accounting, the preparation of financial statements, internal and external users, investors, creditors, and others. Two, managerial accounting communicates financial information through varied forms. Management uses to plan, evaluate, and control operations. Financial statements and other means of financial reporting. Communications financial information to outsiders, or communicates financial information to outsiders. Major financial statements include the statement of financial position, the Statement of Income and Comprehensive Income, the Statement of Cash Flows, the Statement of Changes in Equity, Financial Reporting 2 of 2, also includes note disclosures, President's Letter, Prospectuses, Government Reporting, News Releases, and Management Forecasts. Accounting and Capital Allocation Financial reporting aids users in the allocation of scarce resources, or capital. The accounting profession has the responsibility of measuring a company's performance accurately, fairly, and on a timely basis. These measurements enable investors and creditors to compare the income and assets employed by companies. Investors can then assess the relative risks and returns associated with companies. Capital Allocation Process Companies, Investors and Financial Institutions Between them is the Capital Marketplace, Debt and Equity Markets, and Information, including Financial Reporting. Accounting and Capital Allocation 1 of 2 In Canada, the primary exchange mechanisms for allocating resources are Debt and Equity Markets, public stock markets and exchanges, and private sources, financial institutions, for example, banks. Sources of capital. Stage of company growth, courtesy of TMX Group LTD, all rights reserved. Accounting and Capital Allocation 2 of 2. An effective process of capital allocation is critical to a healthy economy. 
unreliable and irrelevant information leads to poor capital allocation. Credit rating agencies use accounting to rate companies' financial stability. This gives investors and creditors additional independent information. Stakeholders in financial reporting, one of two. Key stakeholders include traditional users of financial information as well as parties who have something at risk or at stake in the financial reporting environment. Users that rely directly on the financial information for resource allocation, investors and creditors, users who help in the efficient allocation of resources, financial analysts and regulators, anyone who prepares, relies on, reviews, audits, or monitors financial information. Investors, creditors, analysts, managers, employees, customers, suppliers, government departments and ministries or ministers, the public in general, regulatory agencies, standard setters, as well as auditors, lawyers, and others. Stakeholders in financial reporting two of two. Some stakeholders have specific functions. Management prepares the financial statements. Investors and creditors rely on statements to make decisions. Statements are then audited by independent auditors that act on behalf of the shareholders to keep management accountable. Standard setters set generally accepted accounting principles, uh, GAAP, to provide direction for accounting. Securities commissions and stock exchanges monitor for full and plain disclosure. Credit rating agencies and analysts monitor and analyze looking for trends or significant changes. What is at stake for each stakeholder? The stakeholder, investors and creditors, what is at stake? Investment and loans. Stakeholder, management, what is at stake? Job, bonus, reputation, salary increase, access to capital markets by company. Stakeholder, securities commissions and stock exchanges, what is at stake? Reputation, effective and efficient capital marketplace. Stakeholder, analysts and credit rating agencies, what is at stake? The reputation and profits. Stakeholder, auditors, what is at stake? Reputation, profits, companies are their clients. Stakeholder, standard setters, what is at stake? Reputation. Stakeholder, others. What is at stake? Various. Objective of financial reporting. The overall objective of financial reporting is to provide information that is decision useful. Allows investors to assess the company's ability to generate net cash inflows, management's ability to protect and enhance capital investments. Financial statements should provide information about the entity's economic resources and claims to those resources, changes in those resources and claims, recognizes different needs and levels of knowledge. Information asymmetry, one of two. Ideally, all stakeholders should have equal access to all relevant information, i.e. symmetry of access to information. When managers have access to more information than other stakeholders, i.e. information asymmetry, they weigh the cost and the benefit of sharing information, could facilitate flow of capital and lower the, cap the cost of capital, give away proprietary information that will cause profits to drop, impact a company's competitive advantage. Information asymmetry two of two. Some reasons for inf information asymmetry are, capital markets are not fully efficient. Human behavior sometimes motivated by maximizing self-interest at the cost of others. Two types of information asymmetry problems. Adverse selection. Knowing that there is an information asymmetry, capital markets may attract wrong kinds of companies. Moral hazard. Knowing that there is information asymmetry, individuals may act in their own best interests at the expense of others, e.g. management bias. Information asymmetry problems, management bias. 
Aggressive accounting, downplay the negative and focus on the positive. Conservative accounting, downplay the positives and focus on the negatives. Some of the possible motivations for management bias include the following. Evaluation of management performance, compensation structures, access to capital markets and meeting analyst expectations, and meeting contractual obligations. The need to develop standards. Accounting standards help reduce information asymmetry problems in financial reporting. Transactions and events must be recognized, measured, presented, and disclosed in a specific way. Standards are not rules. Regulations are laws. They are recommendations. Standards are intended to be generally accepted and universally practiced. In addition to set standards, some principles are generally accepted because they are universally practiced. The standard setting process in Canada, parties involved, one of four. The Canadian Accounting Standards Board, ACSB, primary, primarily responsible for setting GAAP for Canadian private enterprises, ASPE, not-for-profit entities, and pension plans. Two underlying, underlying premises for development of standards, be responsive to the needs and viewpoints of the entire economic community. Operate in full public view through due process. The standard setting process in Canada, parties involved to a four. International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. Major international standard setting body. Mission, to bring transparency, accountability, and efficiency to financial markets around the world by developing IFRS standards, or IFRS. Our work serves the public interest by fostering trust, growth, and long-term financial stability in the global economy. IFRS must be used by public companies in Canada. Private enterprises have an option of using IFRS. The standard setting process in Canada, parties involved, three of four. Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, and the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. FASB is the major standard setting body in the United States. SEC has the final, final authority over accounting standards in the U.S. U.S. GAAP has a significant impact on Canadian GAAP. U.S. GAAP, more pres prescriptive, provides more specific guidelines. Many Canadian companies listed on U.S. stock exchanges. FASB and IASB committed to converge U.S. and international standards. The standard sending process in Canada, parties involved 404. Provincial Securities Commissions. Oversees and monitors capital marketplace in their province. Securities law and legislation requires companies whose shares trade in Canada to U.S. GAAP financial statements, to use GAAP financial statements. Ontario Securities Commission, home to the Toronto Stock Exchange. Most large companies registered on TSX. Monitors financial statements of publicly traded companies for fair representation of financial position. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles Hierarchy 1 of 3. Under ASPE or ASPE, the primary, so primary sources for GAAP are CPA Canada Handbook Sections 1400 to 3870 Accounting Guidelines. Other sources, Background Documents and Implementation Guidance issued by ACSB. Pronouncements in other jurisdictions, research studies, accounting textbooks, journals, approved drafts of primary sources and articles, must be consistent with primary sources and in accordance with the conceptual framework, i.e. the CPA Canada Handbook, Section 1000. Generally Accepted Accounting Principles Hierarchy 2 of 3. Under IFRS, GAP includes IFRS. International Accounting Standards, IAS, Interpretations, 
IFRIC or SIC, alternative sources, pronouncements of other standard setting bodies, other accounting literature, accepted industry practices. Generally accepted accounting principles hierarchy three of three. Both hierarchies are similar. Guidance as to what is GAAP. Rank sources, grounded in the conceptual framework. Established or establish the value of and expect the use of professional judgment. Professional judgment. There cannot be a rule for every situation. Standards in Canada are based primarily on principles rather than specific rules. Therefore, must use professional judgment. The United States currently uses a rules-based approach. Oversight, Sarbanes-Oxley Act, SOX. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act was enacted in 2002 in the United States. Some of the legislation's key provisions, Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, PCAOB, Independence Rules, Bonus, Profit, Forfeiture, CEO, CFO, Certification, Management Report on Effectiveness of Internal Controls over Financial Reporting, Independent and Expert Audit Committee Members, Code of Ethics. Oversight, Canadian Approach. The Canadian Public Accountability Board, CPAB, SOX requirements put in place in Canada, management responsibility for appropriateness and fairness of financial statements, independent audit committees for public companies, increased disclosures. Canadian companies that issue shares in the U.S. are bound by SOX. Centrality of ethics. Ethical dilemmas are common in accounting and other areas of business. Biases sometimes lead to an emphasis on short-term results and place accountants in an environment of conflict. It is not always easy to do the right thing or make the right decision. Ethical decisions often go beyond applying gap or rules of the profession. Process of ethical sensitivity and choosing among alternatives complicated by work pressures. Challenges and opportunities for the accounting profession, one of four. Short-term standard setting in a political environment. Stakeholder influence and special interest groups can have a significant impact on accounting standards, some supporting, some opposing. Compounded by diverse needs of a global membership, for example, IFRS. Additional complication of how standard setters are funded. Giving stakeholders a voice without becoming political. Challenges and opportunities for the accounting profession 204. Principles versus rules. Rules-based standards, like Canadian tax system, may have rules which are usually interpreted literally. Principle-based standards, like ASPE and IFRS, are more dependent on professional judgment, with bright-line tests minimized. Standards should be based on a cohesive set of principles and a conceptual framework that are consistently applied. Flexible to cover many industries. Detailed enough to provide good guidance. Challenges and opportunities for the accounting profession, three of four. Impact of technology. Easy access to a significant amount of very timely company information. Disclose more detail. Access to a larger group of users. Information can be targeted to specific users. Drawbacks. Equal access to all levels of users, quality and reliability. New ways of communicating financial information, XBRL. Challenges and opportunities for the accounting profession 404, integrated reporting. A company's ability to articulate its strategic vision and carry out that vision affects financial performance. Reporting extends beyond financial information and includes broader business reporting, e.g. governance and compensation, 
as well as sust sustainability reporting. The end.